السلام عليكم يا ولاد ده آه الفيديو الخامس لينا في Introduction to Business وهيتكلم على Business Ethics and Social Responsibility This is our fifth video in Introduction to Business It will be about Business Ethics and Social Responsibility What's the meaning of Business Ethics? Business Ethics means to act ethically in your business or to follow the laws and regulation and also to be honest to be honest and uh, don't put your int your own interest above the interest of um, the owner and the workers and your company you must work for the interest of your owner and your um, company uh, this is the ethical behavior يبقى يعني ان الو... يعني ايه البيزنس اثكس يعني الاخلاقيات العمل يعني انا لازم اكون امين اولا اطبق القواعد والقوانين آه ولازم ما احطش مصلحتي الشخصيه آه على الشغل وعلى صاحب الشغل لازم اكون بشتغل آه لمصلحه العمل وده اللي احنا كنا اتكلمنا عنه قبل كده آه في البيزنس اونر شيب ذس واز منشن بيفور ان ذا بيزنس اونر شيب وات واز كولد ذا ايجنسي بروبلم بت ان ذا كوربريشن ذا بيرسون هو مانج ذا كومباني از سيبريت فروم ذا اونر اوف ذا كومباني سو هي ماست be honest and don't uh, work for his uh, for his own interest because this will lead to the agency problem because the manager here in this case is considered as an agent for the owner so he must work for maximizing uh, the owner's wealth ده بالظبط اللي احنا كنا اتكلمنا عليه قبل كده في uh, لما كنا بنتكلم على الكوربريشن وبنقول ان اللي بيدير الكوربريشن غير صاحبها لان اصحاب الكوربريشن اللي هم الشير هولدرز فلازم المانجر ده يكون بيشتغل لمصلحتهم ولمصلحه انه يعظم ثروتهم ويزودها اذا اشتغل لمصلحته الشخصيه ده معناه بتظهر منها هنا اللي هي نظريه الوكاله لان ده بيكون او مشكله الوكاله لان ده بيكون يعتبر زي ايجنت بيشتغل زي وكيل ليهم هو اللي يدير لهم الشركه فلازم هنا يبقى في اونستي which means that the manager must follow business ethics in order to uh, work for the interest of the owner and for the whole company and uh, even in competing he must compete uh, following ethical uh, laws and regulation يعني لازم حتى في المنافسة يبقى في أخلاق ما ينفعش أنا مثلا أتلصص على المنافس بتاعي وأعرف الأسعار اللي هيقدمها وحط أسعار أقل منه أبقى أنا كده بغش أبقى أنا كده I'm not following business ethics for example you mustn't cheat you mustn't investigate about or um, thief the prices that your competitor is going to introduce to the market and then put a very low price uh, which will make him a uh, loss this is not an ethical behavior in business What's the meaning of the social responsibility? Social responsibility اللي هي المسؤولية الاجتماعية. Social responsibility means that uh, a socially responsible company shows uh, concern for its stakeholders, which means that the company uh, which uh, is, has a social responsibility means it will be responsible for all those who have interest in or who have a relation or a benefit from its company like the and we have mentioned before in uh, chapter one who are the stakeholders of business the owners the employees the customers and uh, the communities uh, the suppliers the creditors so anyone who is in contact relation or in direct relation with the company or who have interest or benefit in dealing with the company Uh, the company must put it in its concern and be socially responsible responsible about those stakeholders يبقى المسؤوليه الاجتماعيه ان الشركه تاخد في اعتبارها كل الاطراف اللي هتكون ليها علاقه او مستفيده من الشركه اللي هم احنا قلناهم قبل كده في شابتر 1 الستيك هولدرز اللي هم الامبلويز والاونرز والكاستمرز والسبلايرز والكريديتورز how we can know that Uh, a certain organization is acting ethically most lists of ethical organizational activities include the following yani how to identify an organization as acting ethically uh, the first thing for an organization to act ethically is to put fairness among its priority to be achieved among its activities it must treat 
all employees fairly. It must be fair in rewarding. It must appreciate employees for their uh, integrity. There mustn't be any variation in treatment among uh, employees unless it's based on um, objective uh, point of view. Uh, there mustn't be any variation in uh, salaries, in, t in working hours, in positions. يعني إزاي أقدر أقول إن شركة معينة بتحقق الإثيكال الإثيكال بيهيفير في البزنس بتاعها أول حاجة لازم تكون حاطة العدالة كمطلب أساسي إنها تحققه في شركتها العدالة دي إن أنا يبقى عندي عدالة في معاملة الموظفين اللي عندي من حيث مرتباتهم ساعات عملهم كل واحد يبقى واخد البوزيشن اللي يستحقه كمان لازم يبقى في فيرنس في الريوردنج يعني انا لو هحط ريورد او مكافاه لازم يبقى عندي all of employees who work or who have the same performance must be rewarded same uh, and any employees who have integrity must be appreciated واي واحد عنده نزاهه وكويس لازم يبقى appreciated يبقى again the organization is considered as uh, running its activities ethically if it's treating all uh, all its stakeholders fairly either employees workers um, customers even competitors there must be a fair competition so uh, what's the meaning of individual approach to ethics or addressing ethical dilemma an ethical dilemma is um, a morally problematic situation which is often described by experts as right to right, right versus right decision, which means that you have two uh, alternatives who are right but opposing to each others because they are related to different or important to different groups of people. For example, that you have two groups of people and you need to take uh, decisions. If you take certain decision, it's right, but it will not be uh, beneficial for uh, group A and if you take the other decision it will also be right but it will not be beneficial to group B for example يعني ال ethical dilemma ده معناها ان انت الخبراء مسمينه right versus right decision يعني يكون عندك موقفين وقرارين هتاخدهم الاثنين صح لكن الاثنين هيواجهوا مجموعتين مختلفتين فانت لو خدت القرار الاولاني هيبقى صح لكن مثلا لو انت عندك جروب A وجروب B هيكون في مصلحة A مش في مصلحة B ولو خدت القرار الثاني هيكون صح برضو لكن هيكون في مصلحة مثلا جروب B مش في جروب A تمام for example like in the current situation in our current situation in corona uh, activities uh, many companies take the decision by minimizing the salaries of uh, its employees it's considered as a right decision but uh, from the point of view of the worker it is not right uh, on the other side if you keep sal salaries as it is uh, it will be a right uh, decision from the point of view of the workers but it is not right uh, from the point of view of the owner because of the whole situation the company uh, the com many companies now are facing losses this case is considered as an example about the ethical dilemma it's about johnson and johnson company when uh, on september 30 1982 happened uh, more than one case of death uh, due to taking extra strength tylenol starting from uh, a small girl 12 uh, years old and then uh, a wife 27 years old and uh, her relatives uh, during 48 hours more than one case of uh, deaths of people as a result that they take uh, this um, tablets of Tylenol after a while and after investigation they found that some of the tablets of Johnson & Johnson Tylenol uh, tablets were a uh, poison bottle came from batches originated from different uh, Johnson & Johnson after different plants after they were shipped uh, so it's not the fault of Johnson & Johnson يعني الكيس دي بتحكي لنا قصة حصلت في Johnson & Johnson سنة 82 ان حصل اكتر من حادثة وفاة بداية من بنت عندها 12 سنة نتيجة انهم اخدوا تابلتس 
بتاعت اكسترا تايرانول اكتشفوا بعد كده ان بعد وفاة البنت دي وست تانية واثنين قرايبها ان التابلتس دي مسممة بس ده كانت جاية من فروع مختلفة من جونسون عن جونسون وتسممت بعد ما كان تم الشحن بتاعها يعني هي الخطأ حصل مش من الشركة So uh, the manager of the company or the CEO of the company have two options. The first one is to recall uh, only the lots of extra stent tinanol. The بديل الأول إن هو يلم أو يجمع من السوق الجزء اللي هو اكتشف إن فيه إن هو مسمى. But at the same time, this may expose other uh, people who may consume uh, these tablets to danger. So in order to keep safe his customers, he collected all uh, the quantity of the extra strength Tylenol uh, in all the market all over the world, which cost him around hundred million dollars. This choice, the first choice to collect only the poisoned uh, amount is right, but it have a percentage that some of the customers will be subjected to danger. So he chose to save his customers above uh, his financial benefits but because of this action he gained uh, respect of the society and of his uh, his customers and after several uh, weeks he uh, was able and he succeeded to retain back his good reputation and his sales again كان قدامه اختيارين ان هو يجمع الجزء اللي فيه مشكلة بس و... لان اساسا الخطأ فيه جزء مش عليه او ان هو يجمع كل الكمية اللي في السوق عشان يقدر يحمي ان احتمالية ان اي حد ياخد العقار المسمم ده ده خسره فلوس كتير لكن خلاه يكسب احترام وثقة الناس بحيث ان هو بعد اسابيع قليلة قدر ان هو يسترجع ثقة الناس ليه تاني How to face ethical dilemma? There are more than one uh, step, five steps. The first one is to define the problem and collect the relative facts. Define where is the problem, like um, the, the, the case of Johnson & Johnson. What's, where is the problem? Uh, why uh, people uh, was dying because of taking these uh, tablets? And then starts to collect facts about, the, facts about this situation in order to identify the reasons behind the problem. يعني أول حاجة أبتدي أحدد المشكلة وجمع الفاكتس اللي حواليها عشان أقدر أعرف إيه السبب زي الإكسرس زي الإكسامبل اللي فات لما قدروا إن هم يعرفوا المشكلة حصلت سببها إيه وإمتى. Second step identify feasible options يعني to determine the options which is easy to apply. Assess the effect of each option on stakeholders and then Uh, starts to investigate or uh, to analyze the effect of uh, each of the options on uh, the stakeholders or uh, on people who have interest in the company like also the previous example when you have two choices either to collect uh, the poisoned quantity or to collect the whole quantity and he choose the one which keep his uh, own customers uh, safe 100% يشوف زي في المثال اللي فات اختار انه يجمع الجزء اللي فيه المشكلة ولا يجمع الكمية كلها حتى لو هيخسر بس يضمن امان كامل للزباين بتوعه establish criteria for determining the most appropriate action وابتدي احط طريقة اوصل بيها لافضل اه اختيار select the best option based on the established criteria واختار احسن option اللي هو يفيد اه which will be beneficial to his stakeholders Uh, this chapter will be continued in the next video.